hello 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 welcome back to another reaction video this should be bob and yes we are back with another video about diddy this is gonna be another installment of probably most likely many um of this mogul and then turn way left type of person and you know this this is crazy like it's like a whole lot of stuff that's going on. I don't want to talk too much about it. Because I know it's like a lot of stuff that's going to be needed to be unpacked. Like in this video. Apparently there's some audio that been leaked. Going off by somebody else's um video. They saying that it saying that it leaked. And we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what i don't even know what i'm about to hear so it's involving meek mills and everybody's already digging in meek mills right now about him being like right there under you know right there under diddy and everything like that and stuff so i don't know it might be something valuable or it might not be we don't know but let's take a listen for ourselves shall we it might be kind of a little rough too did he had that man in the room? Look, yes, I put my ear to the f door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard struggling to take. Ooh, chow. So it Bro. looked like the allegations about Meek being Diddy's boy toy were true after all, because an audio just what? leaked of Meek screaming for his life when Diddy mercilessly clapped his cheeks. One thing about the internet, they ain't never. I, I yo bro this better be fake yo this better be fake yo come on now seriously this is really happening right now we don't know what you know what i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna do too much pausing even though there's a lot of pause need to be in this <laughs> a lot after that first take we just got in a while ago but yeah let's 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 see if we can make it through this without me pausing. Cause this is like a this ooh, this is a lot to like I said, it's a lot to unpack on this part. You know, they said audio leak not too long ago. So I'm just checking it out for myself. This is my first interaction with this video. I'm telling you right now. Like it popped up. It seemed like it was it seemed like it was interesting and everything like that. So why not take a look see you know it might be something in it that we could go off of and everything because right now at this point i'm skeptical for real for real we're gonna forget and always come through with receipts honey now if y'all remember meek was exposed for being diddy's little twink a couple weeks ago but what? meek denied these allegations and He's even started threatening it. the people who were speaking on it well it looks like he was running his mouth a little too much yeah. because people started digging for evidence and girl they found some things that not even meek can deny apart from the disturbing audio of him getting pounded by diddy there's also an old song where Meek blatantly admitted to getting freaky with Diddy for a check. Oh, y'all better sit back what? for this one, because we've got a lot to get into here. Okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, Diddy is currently on the run, and he's reportedly hiding in the Caribbean islands after the feds flooded his home and raided it forever. Well, right, that from this, when this video was made, he was on the run, but now last sighting that I've seen that I've known on the internet, he's saying they saying he was like shirtless in Miami. I don't know if that's where he's still at or not. I don't know. That's you know just to bring up to updates and everything like that to what's going on now. Evidence that they could finally throw him in jail with. Now both of his sons, Justin and Christian, who were also tied to his dirty dealings, were cuffed up and thrown into police vehicles. Now while all this was going down, what? the attention quickly shifted I the from the raid to Meek Mill after Diddy's ex bodyguard leaked an audio tape of Meek getting pounded by Diddy during one of their freak off sessions. The reason what? why this got a lot of people's attention is because Meek had already been exposed as Diddy's boy toy a couple weeks ago, but he adamantly denied and tried to make it look like people were just trying to emasculate him. Whole time, he really was bending 
coming over for Diddy. Like, you cannot oh. make this up. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, a music producer by the name Lil Rod filed an explosive multi-million dollar lawsuit against Diddy a couple weeks ago for SA. Not only did he incriminate Diddy, but he also name dropped other people in this lawsuit, including Diddy's sons, Justin and Christian Combs, Young Miami, Usher, and Meek Mill. Apparently, Justin okay. and Miami were in cahoots with Diddy essaying a bunch of girls, and Miami was the one in charge of illegally servicing these girls to Diddy. Rodney also went to expose Diddy for sleeping with some of the men in the industry, and in exchange, he would give them all the opportunities they want in Hollywood. And as you can already guess at this point, Meek was at the top of that list of men letting Diddy slide in for a couple opportunities. Ugh, come Rodney on, man. even said Diddy confessed to him that he coerced Stevie J into a freak off session with the promise of getting Stevie a Grammy for producer of the year. Now, this is where things get even messier because somewhere in the lawsuit, he also exposed Meek Mill and Usher. I think I'm gonna start cutting carbs. Oh I need like, to drop my on, belt. Yo. If you want to drop this as one of the people that often came to these freak offs. Rodney didn't explicitly mention Meek Mill and Usher's names in the lawsuit like he did with everybody else, but he gave some descriptions that had very specific details that pretty much made everybody know who he was talking about. Like he described Meek as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj and described Usher as a male R&B singer who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Now, I don't think I need to tell y'all all this, but Meek is definitely definitely a rapper from Philadelphia who dated Nicki from 2015 yeah. to 2017. Usher also just had a very successful Vegas residency, which reportedly grossed over a hundred million dollars. And he did in fact perform at the Super Bowl a couple weeks ago. Anyway, yeah. going back to Rodney's lawsuit, he claimed that he witnessed Usher and Diddy hooking up several times and making out with the girls that Young Miami and Justin yeah, would bring yeah, for him. I, I, Rodney I recalled that- I, I can't stomach that one. I, 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 I can't stomach that one. People would do anything, anything and anything to get ahead. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's kind of a low for me, but let, let's, let's keep it moving. I, I can't stomach that right there the time where they were partying on Diddy's yacht and he saw both Meek and Usher messing with several girls. The lawsuit said, rapper Meek on Combs' yacht consorting with underage girls and S workers. And do y'all remember what I said about Diddy confessing to Rodney that he coerced Stevie J to sleep with him? Well, it turns out it wasn't just Stevie. Cause according to Rodney, Diddy explicitly told him that he also had hooked up with Usher and Meek several times. The lawsuit stated, Hi. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in intercourse with rapper Redacted and R&B singer Redacted and Stevie J. Chell, people were beyond disgusted by the things that Diddy has been doing with Usher and Meek and they immediately jumped on social media to drag them. Meek started spiraling all over social media and tweeted a bunch of things in a desperate attempt to defend himself, but folks weren't having it. He said, I would trash any celebrity yeah. if they tried a wild move on me. No pics. Literally go crazy on them. That is all. I'm from Philly, man. All my guys always watch me around this wild industry. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me, though. You gotta really kill me. And I still will get bigger after death. This guy, not me, lol. He also got into a huge Twitter feud with DJ Academics, I remember who that was one. only I'll... reporting on the news. Like, imagine attacking somebody who's just doing his job. It's crazy. What's even crazier is that it took hours of Meek running his mouth on Twitter before he finally addressed these allegations. He said, I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ASS Molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about gay activity. And the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog like they know I'm coming, lol. After this, people back See, and see, the thing about it is now this is actually starting to lean towards the positive side as far as this video and everything. Cause you know how some 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 videos they, they end for the gossip and all the other stuff and everything like that, but 
yeah, this particular one, it got everything right on this one. Cause I do remember him sending um, what is it um, tweets rapid fire, and he got into it with um academics and stuff like that. I remember that because I'm I'm on Twitter. Um, I get notifications. I don't be on Twitter like that, but I got notifications from like different news outlets and everything like that saying Big Mill said this, Big Mill said that, he said this, he said that. I was basically getting the freaky out play by play that day between him and academics. And I'm like sitting out here, I'm like, dude, why are you sitting out here? You run your mouth so much. Like, will you please stop? Stop tweeting, get off, you know. If it that if it's bothering you that much, get off Twitter. You know, turn your phone off or something like that. That's what I was saying. But for some crazy reason, he just wanted to keep going and keep going and keep going. That was like a week ago, I think that happened, something like that. And then here it is. I think it was like Thursday or Friday. All that had came up, some information, the stuff that's containing to. What she's saying now, who's narrating, what they've been saying and everything like that. They were like basically saying big meals and set up then just blown his own cover and all this stuff. Just like she talking about in the video. So I'm going to keep on going because right now things are starting to look on the good side. I'm, I'm still trying to stomach that whole Usher thing. I really am. <laughs> I'm telling you I am. <laughs> Boy, this is crazy, man backed off for a while because it was clear as day that Meek was beginning to have a mental breakdown and they weren't yeah. in the spiral anymore. That was until Diddy's ex-bodyguard leaked an audio of Meek getting pounded by Diddy. Chow, I was shocked to the core when I first heard the audio. Aside from the fact that the voices of the audio sound exactly like Meek and Diddy, it was very disturbing to listen because Meek was screaming what? at the top of his lungs and it really sounded like he was in serious pain, but Diddy just kept going. Now y'all know I can't play the full audio for y'all because it really is that disturbing yeah. but I'm gonna just let y'all hear a little bit and again just know it's very disturbing and oh very sensitive. Now the ex-bodyguard in question who recorded and leaked yeah. Oh my god. I'm not running that back. Yeah. Oh my God, yo. This is not looking good at all. The audio made an entire video narrating how it came out. He said it happened during one of Diddy's freak offs and he decided to lean by the door to record what he was hearing because he was shocked to see Meek allowing Diddy to pound him like this. He said Diddy intentionally spiked everybody's drinks at that party so they would be too drunk and too high to even know what's going on. But he didn't drink and that's why he was sober enough to witness what he and Meek were doing. Ooh, chill. Thing was spikes, son. Like all the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink. So I was playing that Why would you? Like, I don't fucking drink. I smoke. And see, the thing about it is, you on the job. You the bodyguard. Why would you drink anyway? But he thought, Diddy thought he had him under influence. But nah, he didn't. He know better. Smart man. Smart man. If you on the job doing any kind of security work or anything like that, not supposed to be drinking anyway because you're supposed to secure shit you're supposed to secure you're a security guard you're supposed to secure so he that's a good man right there he good cigar is right now this right here is making perfect sense it's, it's making very very perfect sense and yeah this yeah let's keep it moving because this right here we keep pushing like I smoke and I had my own weed, but like everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the f door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against his cheeks. I heard the struggling to take. 
I heard just being like, mm. yeah, daddy, like when, when I when when he start call, all that daddy this and daddy that, and then I heard some hollering and struggling, like yeah, I kept the phone there and I recorded all that shit because I was like, this the Diddy. Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike. On more than one occasion. I mean, uh, do y'all remember that? Uh, 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 this is a aha uh -huh moment for me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a aha uh -huh moment for me. Because seriously, I did remember that. I did remember that. And wow, like. Wow, like what the hell? Dude. And during that time, I wasn't even really rocking with McMill like that. I was just getting this little snippet of him and everything during that time. God. Yo, this is jacked up. And disturbing as shit. <laughs> this is disturbing. Wow, man. Come on, man. Let's keep this keep it pushing, man. Keep it pushing. Oh my god. Video of Meek in the pool with his slightly curved as if he was trying to ease off some pain while Diddy recorded him and <laughs> called that man daddy Diddy kept talking about how Meek was putting in that work I don't know about y'all but that video looks like it was taken just minutes after he disrespected Meek in that bedroom hey what's up King son man you doing it man you deserve it daddy you putting in that uh -huh. work I'm proud of you I love you yeah Somebody uh. reacted by saying, looks like a private pool party. Meek cooling that hoe. Another person said, Meek Mill cooling those cheeks after putting in that work. And to make matters even worse, Meek was caught following a corn page on Twitter that exclusively posts videos of black men pounding each other. Maybe oh he my was God. trying to learn Are you some for Diddy. Who knows? But as soon as people caught him, he immediately unfollowed the page. As if all this information wasn't incriminating enough, an old song that Meek recorded a while ago leaked online, and he seemingly revealed to getting his cheeks slapped by Diddy in order to make it in Hollywood. The song is about him chasing his dreams and trying to make it in Hollywood, and then he goes back to ask for forgiveness for what he did with Diddy. Y'all, just listen to this. I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. <laughs> Dream chases I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever. I'm the king of Philly. Call Baby, this is really sad. And it's clear as day that Diddy has exploited the hell out of Meek for a very long time. And Meek couldn't do anything to stop it because he thought if he made his body accessible to Diddy, then Diddy would elevate his career. That obviously didn't happen long because Meek's nope. career is in shambles. He got dropped from his label, his last album flopped miserably, and now he's an industry outcast because no rapper wants to associate with him after finding out what he's been doing with Diddy. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this. Like this person who said, I can't believe so many of our black men are putting their minds and bodies through unnatural things. That sound, I should have never heard that. Another person said, I feel violated after listening to that audio. Terrifying. Man, but now I want to know I felt some your way thoughts. About it. What do y'all think about me getting his cheeks clapped by Diddy in order for opportunities in Hollywood? And do y'all think Meek is just another other victim of Diddy's depraved ways, or did he actually enjoy it? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video. Lord have mercy. Might have to follow up on that. Oh my God, like. Ugh. Oh man. I don't know what to say, man. I'm 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 let a loss for words after this, yo. As much as I don't want to see that damn man have this stuff to be true with certain artists and certain 
people in Hollywood. This is this is actually unfolding to the way I don't want it to be. Uh, I don't know. This is crazy. Y'all already know. It's about that time. I'm out. I'm out this thing and, bro, like, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm really trying to stomach that that audio that yeah I can't I can't woo I can't but yeah I'm just yeah I'm out this thing I guess stay stay tuned for more reaction videos because this was a big reaction in the worst way not for me anyway it was for yeah for all them involved. Mark this thing.